tell you the truth, today I'm going to show you how to create a wobble effect, which is kind of a screamer effect in a BST plugin called Styrus on FL Studio 10. First, you've got to insert the Styrus BST, which is in the plugin menu. It's usually located there, but if it's not, you go more, and you look for it, which is just here, and if it's not ticked, you tick it, and then you press X, and it should be in your little menu now. So if you go and start Starus, and then you got to create a new preset, well not create one, you go onto default preset, and then you get your little piano roll and it should sound like this. Okay, so you've got that. So first you go to operator one, you click on volume, which is on the first bar, the one that has pan, volume, modulation, pitch, phase, damp and oscillator, you click on volume. And on the second bar below it, you click Modulation X. And then on this bar here, the one with the volume and the PE above that, it says 2.0000. You've got to drag the 2 down to 0, and you put 0 0.5. And you do the same for Operator 2, so 0 0.5. Operator 3, you put it up to 16. And operator 4 is up to 28, and it should give you a sound, a really low bass sound like this. Okay, so once you have that, you once you have that, you drag the operators down the modulation X bar all the way down to the bottom so it's sloped in a positive correlation on all four oscillators and that allows you to control your volume with X bar okay so you've got to turn this bar here which is number two and one to about two o'clock and then number four to about half two and it should give you that type of sound for screamo you can just adjust it Okay, so you've got that sound there. Now you want to go to the main bar here, and then if you hold your key down, so Z, which is a chord, then you just X. I should give you that type of sound. So now you go to Edit Events, which is where you create basically the whole type of dubstep song. So now you have to go, well, I'll put it to the main, and then you drag the select, you get the select tool out, and then you start creating your pattern. So you've got to highlight where you want your pattern to be. Click this little spanner here, which gives you the scale levels and LFO. You've got to go on LFO, and then you've got to make sure your phase, which is here, all the way up, and you've got to make sure the end isn't ticked because that would mess you up a lot. So make just leave value as is and range as it is. Well shave out there so it's not tops in the bottom of the top. And you go speed. And then if you want well if you want one and two and one and two and you go for a four bar which is pretty hard to get it so that's why I changed the magnetic thing. So you go phase all the way up and you pick well this is just what I want, one and two and and I'm gonna do the same for this one. And then I'm gonna go slower for half a bar. And I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna pick a smaller bar, which is half the size of the one we just had. And I go even slower. And that. So we're gonna make it I'm gonna make it four bars. So if I make it a three quarters of a bar. And then I'm gonna go quicker. Well, I only do half a bit quicker. So you go to the spanner tool and LFO again. And then you create this quicker one, which is it's probably about that I'd say. And then 
the end one. So I'm gonna get the quarter of a bar because I don't want to create it too generic and all the simple basics. So I'm gonna make this go about two bars like that, and then I'm gonna create it to the fourth bar. It's gonna be like a progression, so it's gonna go from high to low and then down again. So you turn the phase, which is all the way, which is always supposed to be all the way up. But because I'm making it the end, it's going to go all the way down, and it's going to make it reverse, kind of. It's going to make it kind of reverse, but and then you can put all this up, and then it makes a kind of loop, which you can see what type of sound it would be because it's going all the way down and then up a little bit, or a lot. It depends on how you feel about what you want it to sound like. So if you've got that, you now have your sound, but you don't have your pattern, your beats. So I'll just create one simply, just three things, and it goes to four, so we go like this. So, mm, I'll just close steam. Okay, so we've got this. So we've got that. I've got a virus, yes. It's unfixable at the moment. I have to look into it. Right, so you got this on pattern one. Now we play it and see what see what's like. Okay, so it's kind of a screamer effect as you can probably hear. I'll just play it again in case you didn't hear it. Okay, so if you've got that there, you can carry on and go to make your beat. I'm going to pick a different kick because I don't like this one very much. So I just pick a default. This is a really bassy kick. And I, I like the bassy kicks because it's the type of thing you want to do. And the clap is kind of boring as well. So if we smart find a clap, these claps are not bad as well. So we put a clap in. Oh. So you put a clap in over that to write it. So we can have it come like that. It all depends on what you like. I'm just doing it to show you simply how it sounds in a song. So we can have a hat here. We can have hi hats. And you can have it any kind, anywhere you want. So you can have like that, and you can have a snare. You can have one or two snares. Well, I put one or two because it sounds a bit over the top if you don't have one or two. Because you can have more. I don't really like the way it sounds. Okay, so if you've got that there, you can go to your pattern roll, and you want to paste in your pattern one, which is Starus. And you're going to pattern two, and you want to put in your beats that you just made there. But you want to make sure your beat, your pattern two, which is your beats, are pretty high, so you can hear it over the dubstep scream thing. And then this is what it sounds like. So you can turn this down a bit in case you don't like it very much. In case you want to make it a bit better, you can. You probably saw it, I put a crash in before when I was testing out myself. And you can have the crash in the end on pattern 3, which gives it a little effect like this. That is my tutorial on how to create a scream effect dubstep sound on FL Studio 10 using Styrus. I hope this helps some of you. It won't help the majority of you because you want to create something better, but it probably helped some of you because you want to create some basic things. 
but if you have any questions or anything just put it in the box below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can I'm always around on YouTube so it shouldn't be too long uh, subscribe and comment and everything as well and like it because I just want to get it noticed so I can help more people I'll probably be making more videos on how to do things like this but at the moment I think I'll just stick to creating my own things and testing out different things that I can put on future videos okay